to another Lawn Fawn video. Today we are introducing our brand new paper collection, Hello Sunshine. This is such a fun and happy collection that's perfect for spring and summer and really all year round too. We have the 12 by 12 papers, 6 by 6 papers, flare, sequins, and three different colors of twine. So this is the Claire paper from the Hello Sunshine collection. This paper is so fun because it's got little stripes that you can cut apart and use on lots of different projects. And on the B side we have this awesome hot pink color that I love and a great little rainbow stripe. This is our Dawn paper. I love this text. It looks so cool as the background on a project and I love the phrase, oh happy day. And on the back side, we have this great little light blue grid, which is a perfect, very neutral base for both layouts and cards. And then these little date things that you can cut apart and use on your layouts. This is the Skylar paper. I love the rainbow raindrops coming down off the clouds. It's so cute. And then the B side is adorable. It's this cute, these little birds on the strings. It's adorable. I kind of want to frame it and put it on the wall because it's such a cute little print and then a great little pink polka dot. Here's another fun text paper that says Hello Sunshine, and it's another one that's great as a base. I just love text papers. This one's called Sunny. And then the back is a nice little uh, kind of graph type, graph paper type background with this orange, and then the fun little stars, moons, and hearts. This might be my favorite paper. This is April, and I love this rainbowy striped, striped pattern. And then, if you're a child of the 80s like me, you will love this paper. <laughs> I loved My Little Ponies way too much and Rainbow Bright, if you can't tell. Uh, but we love this little heart confetti, rainbow confetti, so fun. And then a great little triangle stripe at the bottom here. This is the May paper. I love the little bees, it's so cute. And then a great darker blue stripe with a nice little honeycomb pattern at the bottom for the bees. This is Stella. I love this garland. It's so pretty. Oh, it's so fun. And then this gray is also a favorite. I love this little micro polka dot and it's a really great light gray. And then the little rainbow stripe at the bottom. This is Luna. Uh, this is a great paper. I just love the stars and moons. It's so pretty. Uh, makes me want to go out and look at the stars. <laughs> and then this great sun ray pattern. I love it so much. And then a little blue grid at the bottom. And then this is Aurora, our journaling card paper. I love these cards because they're great for pocket scrapbooking and layouts like you would expect, but they're also really great on cards. You could put a sentiment right here on a card and just cut this one out. And you get 12 of them on the paper, so there's so many that you can use. And then we have this awesome big wonky polka dot here on the back, which is so much fun. And then a great Oh Happy Day strip at the bottom. Now, something fun that we've done with this collection is that all of the colors have a kind of neutrally base that I call solids, just with a very kind of easy pattern to use or a very subtle pattern. And so it's really easy to put together these papers with a more complicated pattern like this because you have all of the colors in kind of a solid looking paper. These 12 by 12 papers also come in a collection kit. And in the collection kit, you get one of each paper and you get a flare pack too. So it's a really fun kit because you can use all of those elements to create a ton of projects. We, of course, have the six by six pad too. Now in the six by six pad, we've gone ahead and shrunk down all of the patterns. So now they're even easier to use on smaller projects like cards and mini albums and things like that. So they're really, really awesome. I love all the patterns mini style. This one's super cute mini style. This would be great on a card. You could cut out just the birds and put them on a card really easily. Great little Hello Sunshine. There's my favorite rainbow again. <laughs> and of course, some rainbow confetti. Bees, the stripes, this great little garland paper, my favorite gray, the Luna paper, which I love, the sun ray, and a nice little pink chevron. We take out the journaling cards because they don't look as good shrunk down. You know, it's a little small. So we put this cute little pink chevron in and then some great wonky dots. And then you'll see that all of the patterns repeat again. So you get two of each pattern in this pad, which is great because then you don't have to hoard them. I know I'm a paper hoarder, so I like having two of each because then I don't have to make a decision, which I love. The Hello Sunshine collection has both a mixed sequin pack and a flare pack. I love the little flare. They are so cute. And you'll see on the back, 
they have a nice little foam adhesive. So all you have to do is peel that off and it's ready to go on any project. And I love the dimension that it gives. And then we have our mixed sequin pack. And this sequin pack is so fun because there's different styles and shapes and metallic and satin and all sorts of different kinds. So you can see here all of the cool colors and shapes, perfect for adding for projects. And you get a ton of sequins in one pack. We have three new lawn trimmings twine colors. We have sky, coral, and cloudy. They are so much fun. I love these colors. They're made out of hemp just like before, and they spin in the package, so it's really easy to keep your twine nice and organized and tangle free. Uh, these colors are so cute, and as you can see, they go really well with this collection. The other thing that's great about the Hello Sunshine collection is some of our older twine goes along with it too. So the pink lemonade twine, which might be one of my favorites, as you can tell I have barely any left, coordinates really well. And so does the lemon lawn trimmings. This one really matches too. So you can use some of your older twines with the new collection and the new twines too. This collection also has a coordinating stamp set and we're gonna do a video about it in a couple days. So I have a piece of Hello Sunshine paper that is three and a half inches wide here by 12 inches long and we are going to score at two inches, six and a half inches, and seven and a half inches. And as we begin to fold it, we start forming a cute little trip bag. Now you could leave it like this or we can add some fun little design elements to it. The top panel of the treat bag is two, two inches tall by three and a half inches wide. So I've just cut down a piece of the Hello Sunshine paper, the sun rays paper. I'm just gonna cover that little panel. And then the next thing we're going to do is use the new speech bubble die to cut a speech bubble out of this flap. So I've taped it down and now we're just gonna run it through a die cut machine just like normal. And I love that, it's so cute. It's such a cute flap for a treat bag. A similar idea you could do would be to use a scallop circle die in the same way. So this is part of one of those cute little strips that's at the bottom of all the 12 by 12 papers. So I'm just putting that on the bottom of the front of my treat bag to create a little ground. I went ahead and cut some glitter fun foam with the new Scripty Hello die. And I love this fun foam stuff. I got it at my local craft store because it's got a peel off stick. So I'm gonna be able to stick that down really easily, just like that. Then right here, I have our new Critters from the Past set. I love these little dinos, they're so cute. And they look particularly cute paper pieced. Go ahead and stamp her in some charcoal ink. And I can't find my dies right now, so I'm gonna cut her out the old fashioned way. When I cut with a border, with when I paper piece from pattern paper, I like to just go around the edges of the outside and just darken them up with whatever color it is. So this has to be gray, so I'm just gonna darken it up with a gray marker. I feel like it makes the, whatever you've got, like this little dino, uh, just stand out a little bit more from your project. So you can see there how she just pops. So now the last thing we need to do is actually put our treats inside. And I'm gonna do treats, but you could even put, like a, if you had a little gift, like a little necklace for someone in an organza bag, that would work with this idea too. So I love that it could be treats, but it could be a little gift also. So I've gone ahead and filled my little bag with candies. And I'm just going to seal it up. And you can find bags like this for treats in your local craft store, usually in the baking section. So now our little treats are in their bags. And so I'm going to be punching some holes, but I always like to have a guide because if not, I tend to mess up. So I'm just going to make marks here about half an inch down and one inch in, and then half an inch down and one inch in again. And at least that'll give me a little guide as to where to put my holes. Now I'm gonna punch these holes first, and then we'll use them as a guide as to where to punch the other holes. And now I'm gonna line up my bag and punch those holes too. Now I've cut some of the new coral lawn trimmings, and what we're gonna do is just feed it through all of these holes. 
So through the bag and through the back of the bag. And now we'll repeat on the other side. And then we can go ahead and tie a knot or a cute little bow in the back. Now it's time to adhere our cute little dino. Now I'm going to use some of this Tombow Mono Multi Glue because if you let it dry some without adhering it to anything, it actually becomes removable. And so we can kind of have a little removable flap here so that way someone doesn't have to rip it to open it. Another cool way to do this would maybe be like a little piece of Velcro. I think that would be really nice too. So I thought it might be cute for the dino to have a little flower in their hair and we have these cute little flower sequins in the Hello Sunshine sequin pack. But first I'm going to go ahead and use some more of the coral lawn trimmings and just tie a little bow at the end here just to kind of finish things off. So I'm tying a quick knot and I'm going to move that knot to the inside of the bag and then we're going to fake it with an already made bow. It's just a little bit easier I think than trying to get the perfect bow from the tied around piece. So here I'm squeezing a little bit of uh, Claudine Helmet's multimedia mat. You could use any kind of glue. And we're gonna use we're gonna use it to glue down both the bow and the sequin. So I'm just gonna dip the bow in the glue, and then we're gonna do the same thing with the sequin. I'm just gonna dip it in some of the glue. And what's great about this is it dries matte, so you don't have to worry about it, you know, kind of ruining your project or anything. Now we'll let those both dry. So this is our finished treat bag. I just love using the Hello Sunshine papers, just combining all of the different patterns together. They're so much fun even for paper piecing and for using with dyes too. We use some of the little, one of the little sequins here from the mixed sequin pack. I love the little flower on the dino, it's so cute. And some coral lawn trimmings just to add a cute little finishing touch to the front of the bag. This is such a cute way to present some treats, maybe some home-baked cookies, or even a little necklace or something too. I think this bag would make anyone's day. So this is the Hello Sunshine Collection. I love these papers so much. They come in both a 12 by 12 size and a six by six size. And the 12 by 12 papers can come in a collection kit too that also includes the flare. I love the six by six papers since all of the sizes are reduced. So they're perfect for cards and mini albums and other small projects. We have some awesome new lawn trimmings twine in three different colors. And we have the coordinating flare and sequins that are just add so much dimension to projects. There's also a coordinating stamp set to this line that we're going to show in a later video. So thank you guys so much for watching and I hope you have an amazing day. Bye!